that smells like a very pretty girl with a high ponytail. It's nice and full and bouncy. And she's running in the mall to the shoe sale. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel. Today we have a second Timu video. This is going to be an unboxing. If you didn't see my first Timu haul, make sure you go check it out. I already kind of know what's in here. That's why I wanted to do an unboxing. Okay, I knew I got it. Okay. Okay. I knew, I knew I got this. Um, I just I had two orders, but they were all the same. They just shipped separately. So I thought like maybe it just wasn't in stock. It's a neck fan. I have bought my mom a neck fan for work. My boyfriend a neck fan for work. Now I have my own neck fan for work. Oh my gosh. I got a neck fan for work. This one is different than the ones I bought though. This is flexy, bendy, okay. Okay, how you cut it on? Let's see. Where's this? You hear that? Do you see my hair? Oh my goodness. So. That is re That is refreshing. I didn't know if you could hear me over the noise. But pretty much what this is, is you can put it around your neck and it's going to blow air up or depending on how you place it down to keep you cool. It's great for work, school, anywhere where you know it's a little bit hot and you don't want to, or maybe you can't ask for them to drop the temperature, get you a neck thing. Get you a neck thing. You plug it in right here. Get your USB block. Get your USB block to plug this in, charge it. This is simple, straightforward, necessary, does what it's supposed to do. Happy, very happy. I swear I didn't think that this was going to come. So, that's that. One, two, three. Okay, the next thing are fragrances. Okay, so in my previous video, I had said I wanted to try things from different categories just to see what Timu was was really about so excuse me I had saw fragrance and I was like okay now I don't I'm not like a big fragrance girl I have two that I like and I stick to them this is black opium you see I don't smell nothing yet well, let's see there are so many fragrances and I was just like I didn't look at notes or anything I just picked let's see okay so box Perfume. Bag of box says ingredients. Black opium. Ooh, the perfume. Right, be careful, don't spread. This smells so good. I'm gonna spray it in the box. Ooh, that smells expensive. That's nice, it's warm. It's warm, like orchids, like, this kind of smells unisex. Is this a men and women? I do not know, girl. Wow, this is very nice. This is a 1.7 ounce. Let me get you close. I read a lot of the reviews on the fragrance because I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. Like I said, I don't have any of the ones I ordered. So I wanted to see like what people were saying if they were would compare this to the real thing. These are not real thing prices, but a lot of people were saying like it smells better or it lasts longer, like good, 
good things. So that was black opium. Eau de Parfum Jean Mist. And this is one fluid out. So I have seen this everywhere. And when I was looking, when I was looking for new fragrances, I was stuck on this because everybody was like, oh, it smells so good. It's amazing. Love it, love it, love it. This is a little different. For me, this smells more like it's not a smell that it's not a smell that I would like pick. But it's something that could be mixed, I feel like. It's very like vibrant. It's definitely out there. You are going to smell this. The smell is nice. It's just not like my typical like what I'll go for again it smells rich it smells like grown woman cheese on top of her stuff she owned houses cars everything but out of the two this one's definitely more so my type of scent and uh, maybe I should do a video like comparing maybe we're gonna move to oh Libre. I definitely know how Libre smells. 100 percent So I used to work at Ulta and they definitely have black opium. They didn't have this one at the one I worked at, but some of them might. I 100 percent know how oh, oh I can't see. This Libre smells. It says YJH. It's one fluid ounce Libre. Okay, let's open this. I I have high hopes because of the reviews. I can see little lints in here. Oh yeah, that's, wow, that's crazy. How did they do that? I'm really like, how do they do that? I swear it's just like one, two pieces of lint. That's just like floated in there. Honestly, if there is a fragrance that you like, but you don't really like paying full price and you can go on Timu and find what looks like and, and has similar letters you know design to I would definitely give it a try because this smells just like the real thing it smells like this the intense one but it doesn't say intense on the box so again box actual product this is one ounce Wow, and this is the top. That is so crazy. This is very warm. Like you can smell the orange in it. It's like, it's kind of similar to this in the sense that they're both warm scents. But this is just like, something about it is kind of soft at the same time. Like, it's, it's spicy, but it's soft. I kind of just want to spray that on me. I've never owned this myself so different from anything i would ever pick but i think this is what's going to get my fragrance collection up because if i could buy it at an affordable price on timu why not okay this is called yes i can flower of story i don't know if this is i don't know who this is a, like a dupe of or what so you can smell this out of the box I believe doesn't say 
but I'm gonna, I would guess it's one. Okay, this smells like flowers 100% floral bouquet it's a little bit overpowering but it definitely smells like spring if you are a floral person I feel like this is definitely something you should try because it is just straight flowers it's not bad I don't think I would want to put it on me definitely smells like a bed of flowers on to the next one Ooh, ooh, I think I saved the best for last and I wasn't even trying. Honestly, I probably would never pay for it. What this real one costs, I probably would never pay for that in my life. It looked like some of it spilled because it's kind of like light right there. Hold on, let me see. Cause right now it's not too pleasing. <gasps> That's because it's three of them colliding. So we have Satin Mood. A la Rose and Baccarat Rouge by Port Satin Mood. Cute. Ooh. This is really cute. The actual liquid is like a yellow color. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh. Do you see that it's just sitting on top? The liquid is just sitting on top of this one. It looked like it spilled in transit, so. I don't like that. I'm gonna put that to the side. Oh my gosh, so much of this is missing compared to the other guys. So this one. Oh, oh! Oh my gosh, it's leaking. This one's leaking. It's not leaking. Ooh, pretty. That smells like a very pretty girl with a high ponytail. It's nice and full and bouncy. And she's running in the mall to the shoe sale. <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. I do not like floral. I'm not floral girl. I'm not that girl with this. I'm gonna spray this on me because I actually like this. I actually really, really like this. I'm gonna a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. Hmm, it doesn't smell as good on me as it did in the box. Rose, I love rose. I like that. So, out of these two, this one is the best so far. Now, the next is in the set. The next in the set is the Baccarat, and this is how it looks. Like I don't know if I'm smelling this or everything else. Cause I got one here, and I got one here, and I got one here. But this, I feel like this smells really nice. So let me spray this. Let's just spray it on this piece of paper. Oh, okay. Mm. It's nice. It's very, it's a little bit of like floral, not as much as rose, not as much as the yes I can, but it's floral, like it's like woody, warm, floral, fresh, all in one, and that's kind of hard to explain. Now I don't have this personally, so I don't have anything to compare it to, I'm just blindly trying it. It's not overpowering, it's soft. I do feel like it's something like, if you've had it before, you would definitely know it if somebody else had it on. Now out of these three, I'm definitely, this one would be first, then this one, and this was the hard last. This is behind every single one of the ones that I smell. Now out of all of these, this one I 100% know what it smells like, like the brand, I know. And this is a yes. I think, if you want to try some expensive fragrances and you don't really and actually I've smelled this before I just don't remember if it was this so that's why I'm saying that if you want to try something and maybe you don't want to spend all that money definitely go to Timu all of these plus more and the price don't look nothing like 
the real, you know, no look nothing like that. So again, Timu, I will link all of these fragrances in the description. If you want to see me do another Timu fragrance and maybe compare Timu to the real thing like on camera, let me know. Link in the description. Make sure you use my code when you shop on Timu to save me some money. Thank you Timu for partnering up with me to make this video possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I've been trying to forget.